How's it going, everybody? How you guys doing tonight? All right. Well, we're gonna be working on some Jessup King stuff, Palais Usual. A uh, couple things I wanted to show you guys first, or just I guess sort of talk about uh, before we get going. Uh, first and foremost is I, I whipped together, oh, finally whipped together, uh, just a little thing here. Uh, just say thank you uh, to get people's names out there. I know. Hey. I think it's fun. I've seen it on other people's streams as well. Uh, not just in streams, but other places. It's cool to see your name up on, uh, you know, like a show or a stream or anything you look at. It's always cool to have your name there. So I just want to say thanks uh, for all of my patron sub uh, subscribers, participants, whatever you want to call them. Uh, you guys are, are the best. I appreciate anything you guys are able to throw my way. It's really cool. Uh, if you're not a patron, I mean, you consider heading over there, see what you like. Uh, if, if you're... A fan, or if you're interested in my webcomic Jessup King, the pages uh, always go up about a week before they actually go live everywhere else. So you guys can check that out. Uh, from time to time, I also uh, put together like a, 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 it's like a PNG, a, a stacked PNG. I know this is sounding way more complicated than it really is, but just uh, kind of like if you go to Tumblr or not Tumblr, so yeah, Tumblr or Pinterest, how you can scroll down and you see like a long rectangular image. It's like that of the process of pages. So. If you're into that, you check that out as well. Uh, there's some, uh, if you're you know an artist yourself, there's some brushes you guys can check out as well as tutorials and one-on-one -on -one hangout sessions. But regardless, thank you so much, you guys. I really do appreciate all the support over there as well. So let's get back to it. Uh, so how's it going, Pillowhead? Keeman, how you guys doing? Familiar faces. All right, so uh, we finished all the inks up last time we were streaming. Uh, now all I'm doing is I'm just going through and adding the shadow. Uh, the inks, they've already been sent off to James for flatting. And I, I like to say this every time, and it might get old for you guys, but if you're looking for a flatter uh, for your comic book project or anything, uh, let me know. Reach out to me, and I can get you in contact with James. He's uh, hi He's been highly professional, uh, and uh, you know I'm ecstatic that I uh, finally pulled the trigger and got myself a flatter. He's been he's been wonderful. Uh, so we're gonna be doing uh, th two more pages. I think we got left here. We got we're gonna be doing this one and then one more, uh, and then we're just gonna be going right back into breakdowns. Start the process all over again. Uh, before I went live though, I just thought I'd give you guys tonight anyway because by the time this goes, hey Sage Empress, how's it going? Uh, before th this should be going live tomorrow, uh, so it doesn't even matter if I show you guys today. Excuse me, guys, getting a little sneak peek anyway. Uh, so I finished up the Venom colors. Now I'm also going to take tonight to take to do like a double check just to make sure this is what I want. Uh, I do like it. I think it turned out pretty cool. Uh, I'm wondering if it might be a little too bright in the light blue area. I can fart around with that tomorrow. Uh, but I also wanted to kind of go with like the old, uh, not necessarily like the retro, but that bright blue and purple. Uh, like from the 80s or 70s artwork you'll see all the time. I love it. I think it's awesome. And I wanted to sneak some in there uh, and, and all that. So I'll just zoom in a little bit, show you guys some more stuff. Uh, really, the only thing that's different in this from how we normally color, you can see I've got the shadows and all that stuff, to, just like how I color uh, Jessup King. I decided to just start trying out some, uh, like, uh, like a halo around him, just to make sure that he pops over the background, because sometimes like, it's still something I'm fighting, because I'm not the best colorist, uh, and I'm still learning. But uh, sometimes you'll get in areas where it's like, all in here looks like a hot mess, right? And that's because I'm not using gradients and stuff to like smooth areas out uh, so we added some of that around there uh, but again I color just like Jessup King we got a flat color one shadow color the only real difference is uh, I like doing this myself it can be a little like <laughs> I gotta be careful about it but you see where it's purple like the reflective light uh, I just put that right in the shadow color that I have and it just you know gives it like this cool look that I, like I dig it um, but the highlights and stuff that's sort of like using gradients and all that cool stuff. I added some some green slime. I also kind of wanted a uh, little homage, I suppose, to like, if you guys ever played uh, Marvel vs. Capcom, like 1 and 2, I really love that bright blue Venom. I thought it was really cool. So anyway, so we got all that cool stuff. So if you guys are interested, I know it's been a while for this. Uh, I'm actually going to a convention now. I didn't know, but uh, it's awesome. I'll be hitting up a convention. I'll let you guys know if you guys are in the local area in Windsor, the Windsor Comic Con, which I believe is the second week of August, where I will have this in print, as well as, uh, like I say, they will be going up in the store tomorrow, uh, as well as the original, if you're interested in that. So you guys can, if you head over to my Etsy store, you can check all that crap out uh, and all that cool stuff over there. And I, I'm going to toy around with it being like a limited print, see uh, how, how that goes as well. But again... I'll give you guys more information tomorrow. So, anyway, without further ado, let's uh, let's get back into the good stuff. All right, let's see where we're at here. Um, so somebody had asked me too, 
Thank you, Raphael. I appreciate that. Uh, Key guy, how you doing? Uh, bum, 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 bum. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it, man. Um, so somebody was asking me through an email, and I just wanted to make sure that I, I answered it. They were asking why I, I've addressed this before, but you know, it always bears repeating. Uh, they were asking why I just do the shadows and stuff now, as opposed to waiting till I get the flats back. Uh, the simple answer, honestly, is I feel like this just uh, helps speed up some time. So while James is working on the flats, I'm doing the shadows. So when I get the flats, I just need to correct the color in some places. And then from there, uh, I can just go ahead and just copy and paste this layer in, and then it's, it's good to go. So it's just a, a more of a, a time-saving tool. Yeah, thanks. Finally got it finished. Uh, so I guess I should talk about this too, um, or it was a thought that I had. So what had happened was um, someone reached out to me at the local convention. Uh, I, I had full intent of not attending conventions this year just because I wanted to focus on Jessup. I didn't want to do prints. Uh, and, I, and I talked about this as well. Of um, I made that decision, like, if I go to another convention, I have to, in my mind, I'm either going there to be a print artist so I can make some money, or else what's what's the point of going or the other thing is it's it's more of like a an expense to promote a comic that I'm working on so like Jessup King or something right so not that one can't be you can't do one without the other uh, it's just it, it felt like the last couple that I've gone to I and mean, they've all been local smaller conventions too but it's like uh, trying to push my comic is one thing but trying to get people interested in a print or a commission at the show it's almost it feels anyway that it's like one or the other that's just the way that I've my experience has been so I decided I'm going to keep pushing on Jessup and not really worry uh, worry about prints uh, and just do like private ones or something on my website but anyway so I got this uh, invite a couple days ago and it's a free table and stuff so it, I don't know I feel like it'd be kind of stupid not to go right so uh, but then it puts me in this little pickle where there's a couple things I want to get done uh, so I don't know what the streams are going to look like I'm going to try to push as hard as I can especially this weekend um, so we're going to have the Venom print there, uh, and if you guys can't make the show, obviously, that, that's cool too. It'll be on my store. Um, so I'll have them there, and as well as I want to get another print. Now, if you guys remember, I can bring it up too. There was this drawing I did a long, not a long time ago, actually. Let's, let's check it out. Let's see the date there. One second here. Let's go to my website. <laughs> and yeah, look, so right here, this was posted a month ago. So this one took a while. Uh, so let's enlarge it here. This drawing here, I wanted to turn into something. So w what I had uh, said on Instagram when I posted this was, this is what I like to do sometimes. I don't know if you guys like to do it, where you'll I'll draw like, just like, you know, like I'm just sketching in a sketchbook kind of thing, just whatever feels fun. And I'll get like a drawing that's kind of cool. And then from here, I think of it like skinning a character, meaning uh, it could be anybody. Superman, Batman, you can just put a costume on them, right? Uh, so what I was thinking of doing, and I'm not sure if I'm going to do this yet, because I do have some superhero stuff. But I was thinking that I could turn this into Jason from Friday the 13th. Huge fan of the series. I've been playing the game for a little bit. Uh, I was playing a lot when it came out, uh, but I slowed down big time. But I think it would be really cool to make him look like a monster, right? like, a, like a Hulk version. Uh, but as well, is also offering, and I think this is, might be kind of cool. I don't know. Just an experiment for me. Uh, of uh, also doing, because the game came out with this as well, and it sparked that idea of doing that retro Jason where he's like purple and blue. And you guys might not know what the hell I'm talking about, but the Jason fans out there, you guys might. So I'm still debating on that, but I'm thinking this would be the other print that I'll have. That way at least I have a couple things uh, that I can bring to the show. Uh, because I was there last year, and if anybody does come back, I'd like to at least have something. But I, I, don't, I actually don't have the time uh, to do a whole bunch of new stuff because I already made that, that call earlier, right? So... So some good stuff coming up. Uh, also, sent off the contract for the client work that I was telling you guys about for the comic book stuff. Uh, so that means we're going to be starting on some superhero stuff soon. And I got the, the green light to be able to stream it and stuff. So you guys will be able to see. It'll basically be the exact same thing as like the Jessup King workflow. So nothing new, but it'll be different content.
So we'll be back to drawing cities and buses and people. Humus beings. So hope you guys get a kick out of that. Uh, Raphael, uh, John, do you have any plans regarding publishing Jess of King on a publisher like Image, for example? Uh, currently, I do not. My intent when I uh, for this first year in a way of Jessup is twofold. One is to try to gain a, a, a bigger following or like people that are interested in my stuff, you know. Uh, and two is, in my mind, be a comic book artist. Meaning, the majority of this year has been making comic book pages uh, because I want to really give comics a big shot. And uh, I would say at the end of every stream, keep reading comics, keep making comics. But I actually don't do really either of them. So this year has been a big shift of if I'm going to, I don't want to say pretend, but if I'm going to talk the talk about being a comic book artist, like either I am or I'm not. And, and it's okay if I'm not, just go do something else, right? Like pinups or, or freelance work with other stuff. So it's all good. I just decided like, no, man, like let's, let's make this serious. So that's been the main goal. Uh, so to tie that in with Jessup, it's just been this first year, don't even worry about making money off the book or how I'm going to publish it or, or get it to people other than just put it online for free. Um, that way I don't have to worry about thinking about all that stuff so I can just start the project and move forward. So now that we're about like six months in, uh, there's actually been a surprising few of you that are actually really into the print stuff. And I'll be honest, I haven't, I just got an iPad and looking at Jessup King on there, I'm like, <laughs> I don't even care if it's paper. This looks awesome. But I get, I get it. I understand. Trust me. I do love my comic, uh, my paper comics too. Especially ones that I'm a big fan of, you know. So currently, no. Um, I mean, you know, it's not a bad idea. It's a good idea of um, maybe submitting the image or something and seeing what, what they say. Like, I don't know what their release schedule is for, like, you know, how money works and all that stuff if I were to do it. I know uh, somebody that I look up to. I, sh I should probably reach out to him, uh, Corey Lewis. Uh, he's doing, I think, Sun Bakery right now, uh, which I think he just started going through Image with that. But that's pretty cool, because I think it's like a catalog of different stories that he tells. Not a catalog, um, like an anthology that gets released every f every other month or something. I believe. I don't know the the full details on it, but yeah, no, you know what? I mean, like that is that's possible too. Uh, my only concern right now is that I would basically would have to be like a retelling of this first story or this this what I'm doing right now online the 50 something pages could just be like it's just an adventure that happens at some point during the story and maybe start with like a little bit more of an origin or something like more planning would have to get done I feel if I was to go through a publisher like that you know what I'm saying but that's just in, in my head uh, I have no idea if that's actually true or if I need any of that stuff you know um, but I'm almost saving like all those questions for next year. So around, I would say, uh, when did we launch the comic? March? The end of February or March or something like that. So around maybe Christmas. Christmas I always like because I'm not a big, um, what's it called? New Year's resolution guy. But I do definitely like looking over all the stuff I did that year and, and sort of go, okay, what, what can I change and, and all that stuff. So probably around that time. I'll start to share with you guys what, what I'm what I'm intending on doing and planning on doing. Because at the same time with all this stuff too, right? Like uh, I'm trying to make a big push for Marvel DC, you know, all those big stuff. So Image does actually, I guess, kind of play in there. It is a little, well, it's not a little, but it's uh, it's got some prestige with it. And it's got some, some credibility, some street cred, you know, with that branding. So maybe that would be my intro into that stuff too. But I want to give... Uh, the publisher's a big shot as well. So we'll see how all this is going. One comic page at a time, right? Uh, Key guy, wasn't expecting to be so bright colors, especially the magenta purples, but it's all good. It's your baby. I do feel the Capcom feel in your uh, work there. Okay, cool, man. No, and uh, please, guys, if you guys want, I did post, uh, I shared it on Instagram, and, and from there it goes to the, all the other places you guys might be following me. Please, if you guys have any, have any constructive criticism, I would highly appreciate it. I can make it even better than, than we're talking. Uh, okay, I missed that. What superhero work? Oh, I haven't. Uh, I'm still waiting for the ink to dry, for the guy to get back to me on it. Uh, it it's a. Uh, it sounds pretty much like what you would. 
and I don't mean this in a mean way or anything because I haven't read the script yet. Uh, I've just seen some artwork and some previous work from the writer. Uh, it's going to be six issues, but it's it's mostly four issues. I think they're 24 pages each. Uh, and then two specials. So a summer special that's 10 pages and a Christmas special that's 10 pages. So it's not a full graphic novel, but at the end it could be collected as one. Um, so it's 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 very it's so far from what I can tell is it's just another take on you know like the Avengers or Justice League, as a lot of people like to do with their stuff. So uh, from what I hear, he he kind of wants it to be you know pretty pretty laid back and fun, but lots of action. So that's good because a lot of like uh, as much as I loved working on the Standard, because I really did love that book. Uh, but sadly. <laughs> I really like drawing a lot of, um, you know, character-driven stuff, like some some action stuff or whatever. Uh, but in in um, the standard, that book was pretty much very story-driven. Uh, so there's a lot of just talking, which is great. Don't get me wrong. As as a comic book reader, I enjoy that too. You need it. But as an artist, some people really like drawing, you know, people talking at a coffee stop or coffee shop. Uh, I'm not necessarily that person. I, I will, obviously, if the story needs it, but I'd much rather draw, you know, superheroes defending the city and, and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah. You guys will see when all that happens. I believe next, this August 1st, around there, is when we're going to start kind of moving into some character design. And then there's not much that has to be done. There was a lot that was already there. Um, I've been given the green light to sort of go over the designs that are already there and take another pass at them if I want. So I might share that with you guys as well, because I know some of you guys like some character design, especially when it comes to comics. So I'll share some of that if I can. And some of them probably don't even need it. Uh, all I did was ask. It's not just, don't show me just the design of the current look, because that doesn't really do too much. I, I, for me, I need to hear like the story behind the character. You know, we talked about that actually the other day, with uh, Han Solo. You know, if a, if a video game company nowadays was to design Han Solo, they'd probably make him look like something from Halo or Gears of War. You know, like a space marine. But when you look at his original design, where he's like a swashbuckler kind of thing, like it just, you know, people are shooting with blasters all the time. It's probably not smart to walk around in just an open T-shirt. <laughs> you know what I mean? You probably have some armor, especially if you're a, a space pirate or whatever the hell Han Solo would be. But since he doesn't have those things, he's his design's almost better for it because it tells you more about his character. Right? It's just small little things like that. Uh, Redo Art, uh, how's it going, buddy? How did you get the brush to show you the center like that? Oh, uh, if you go up to, let me just save this actually. Preferences, I believe. Let's take a look in here. Yeah, it'll be right here. Cursor. There's a whole bunch of different things you get to choose. Uh, so I think right now I'm using the pen. So in here I've got brush size and tool specific. You can also like replace it so it'll be a dot or a crosshair inside, you know? Let's actually try it. Let's try a cross. Let's see what that looks like. See what's a cross in there? I think that dot might be better. Yeah, I like that better. It's because it gives it like that precision that sometimes you might need, right? was drawn here. What is this? Well, how do you like it? Since you just got Clip Studio, how do you like it? You coming from Photoshop?
Hey Taunting, how's it going man? A lot of things for Justin, but still use both of them. Yeah, no, I get it, man. That's uh, I used to that too. I was using a flip flop in between the two software for different things. Yeah, glad you're enjoying it though. Okay, my man, how you doing? Side note, I know most of you probably won't care, but uh, if you guys like the new Thor Ragnarok trailer, that music that's playing, uh, if you want to add it to your Spotify or whatever, it's called uh, In the Face of Evil by Magic Sword. In the Face of Evil by Magic Sword. So, you can repeat that? Just let me know. How many more pages you have to do on Jessup? Uh... 
I know I have a count somewhere. It's like, here, I can show you guys. This is some of the thumbnails coming up. We're up to 53. Okay, so the story's going here. They're about to, like I say, they're about to wrap it up here. Um, so 53, they're talking this. I think it's around, I want to say like 50, 55, maybe? 56, around there. So maybe a few more weeks and the first little chunk should be done. Then we'll get into like, you know, much different story. Oh, it is getting better. <laughs> Great, man. Can't wait to see it. I saw the little uh, head thing you did the other day there. Was it yesterday? Painstakingly, how's it going? Uh, are you laying in shadows or color? Uh, shadows. Uh, James is doing the flats as we stream, as we speak, stream, talk. <laughs> uh, that way, once the flats are done, I kind of just go in there and adjust them if they need adjusting, and then uh, just copy the shadow layer, paste it in there, and uh, that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, it probably looks like color, yeah, so the shadow color that I usually use is like this purple. So I'm just doing that now, and like I, this could be any color, it could be a dark gray, it could be bright red, just so I can see it, that's all. I'm just using the purple so I don't have to color adjust it later, it's, not, it's really not a big deal. You just lock the layer and change the color. John is posting pictures 600 DPI uh, better or uh, posting pictures. I think 72 DPI is fine. It's the DPI only matters for print. Web, all you need is uh, like the pixel size. All right. So an example is like on Instagram. I think it's you guys let me know. I think it's 1050 by 1050 or something like that. So as long as you export your 300 DPI image or your 600 DPI image to those resolutions, you're fine. Like these Jessup King pages, right? When I when I draw them, they're 600 DPI. Um, when I color them, they're 300 DPI. So I downscale them, and then once I export it for the web, like Webtoons and even my website, it's I think it's 850 by something like that. Uh, not much, man. Just drawn and drawn and drawn. You know how it goes. 
Uh, it's cool. I was wondering that it seemed odd. I forgot you work with the flatter hip. Oh, hey, yeah, no problem. You know what, man? Like, I really don't. Flatting just takes time. It, that's the b boring part, right? I will say Clip Studio makes flatting a lot easier. At least that's been my experience. Uh, but I forget who it was. It may have been Matador when he was in the chat, or maybe somebody else in the chat. They they asked me why don't I hire a flatter, and I you know I came up with. I think the same reason a lot of people don't. I'm like, I just don't want to pay anybody to do it. And then I thought, okay, it's kind of stupid because, you know, Patreon, I don't, I don't want to say it's free money, but people are paying me to support me doing my thing, right? So the Patreon money necessarily, for me anyway, it could, but it's not because I have a day job. It, it's not to, you know, keep lights on in my house and stuff. So I should be doing what most people talk about when they do business, right, is to make money or in this case exposure or whatever right you gotta to make money you gotta spend money kind of thing and I was like oh, I don't know why I never thought of it it's kind of stupid and James is really really reasonable <laughs> like a UTI kind of thing. <laughs> do, 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 do. Photoshop for my coloring, I think only because I use it in Magna Studio. How does my, uh, sorry, Clip Studio, what a blah, blah, blah. I, I'm all for streamlining workflow. Okay, so do you, uh, also you said you downscale the color. Yeah, no, like I would color in 600 DPI, but my computer can't handle it. Like it, it can handle it for a little bit, but once it starts getting, you know, I, I'm in there for a bit, it, it chugs like a mofo. I've got an older computer, so yeah, if you got, if you, if you got a computer up to snuff, knock yourself out. Friggin' work 1200 DPI if you have to. If you can, why not, right? I would. I don't know why I would, but <laughs> maybe just because. Um, does your, do you, um, well, here, I'll show you a reason why I really like f f flatting in Clip Studio. If your artwork is closed like mine is, or maybe it doesn't even have to be closed, but maybe kind of, check this out. If you click and drag with the paint bucket, there might be some settings I'm missing, but like, it's just quick stuff. It can be quick stuff. I don't want to over oversell this. So let's just say Momo here, right? I'm just going to click and drag. Check it out. How long did that take? I know a lot of people, they like to use like uh, the lasso tool. I think that's an old school way of working. Not If it works, keep doing it. Um, but even if your artwork isn't closed, I mean, for the most part, you could probably still get a lot of... Uh, speed doing what I just did there Usually upscale from 400 to 600 colors benefit. Uh, well, f from from what I've been told is you never want to upscale because the it ruins the quality of your image. It's always better to go the opposite way, from big to small, not small to big. That makes sense. Uh, I think 600 is my limit. Okay, yeah, yeah, mine's like an HP. Or I think it's a, it's an Asus something. I don't know. It's a Best Buy special computer. Let's be honest. You use lasso as well? Yeah. 
again, I don't, I don't want to, I'm not trying to come at people that use a lasso. I use it for a long time too. I'm trying to go for volume though, I guess. So take that with a grain of salt. Like I don't really make a lot of selections and stuff, right? Like my what I'm coloring here is super simple. Even the venom piece that I did, it's still you know simple. One sec, I got um, I think my brother just gave me some feedback here. Let me try. He's saying okay, so let me turn this off so I can talk. Hey, thanks, man. Okay, here, so I'm gonna do some real time editing with you guys. So I, I sent out the venom thing to a few people. Just to get some feedback, uh, and I'll show you for those videos that are coming in now. Uh, let's actually open up. Shit, I'm gonna have to open up Photoshop. <sighs> One sec. Just because I can't do CMYK, CMYK in Clip Studio, I haven't found a good way to do it. And the Photoshop I use is just laggy as hell. So, <laughs> one sec. We'll see how this goes. He sang. Whether you agree with them or not, I still want to try this. I'm just scared that when, like a lot of the prints that I make, not that they're like so dark you can't even see it, but it's like it gets a little darker than what I'm looking at when I'm coloring this stuff, even if it's in CMYK. Uh, Jose, how's it going, buddy? Hi, man. On the line, are, are, do you have anti-aliasing off? I wish I c my brain could remember the difference between aliasing and anti-aliasing. When I when I um when I ink normally, it's like the soft looking lines. So there's like it, it gradients into stuff. Once I'm done and I'm getting ready to send it the colors, I switch it to a bitmap. So I think that whatever the opposite of that, whatever aliasing that is, so it looks like a video game, just like black or white. Period. That's all. But when I'm inking, I like to have like the soft lines on there so that I can uh, do more effects and more manipulation and stuff. Okay. So, look at this. Look how long this stuff. Oof. It's going to take a while. So, what I'm going to try to do here. Oh, maybe we can't do this. Let's try it. Wow. Trying to hit spacebar. There we go. Okay. So, my brother was saying, at least his feedback was. Let me just go here. Too bright on the pink. Try black and blue with red. So, I think he's thinking, and I've, I've heard some people th uh, say this as well. Um, maybe not just for this one, but. Okay, I can't do it with this one. I'm gonna have to just try it in Clip Studio and hope it works. Um, but I do wonder sometimes. I think with the Venom color, like I was kind of telling you guys why I, I picked the colors I picked with them. Um, and some people just like to look at it, uh, kind of like the, I don't want to say the current stuff. Again, yeah, I was the the colors that are in my um, the colors that I like to use that I was trying to hit a little bit were like the Marvel versus Capcom, where he's like a bright blue. It's a little bit more cartoony, you know, as opposed to like the the oil drenched venom. Uh, convert CMYK color data to RBG. Okay, I guess. We'll see how it goes. All right. So let me just duplicate this. It's funny on Photoshop, this is like insane. But in Clip Studio, hey, we got you. Uh, sorry. Um, so anti aliasing is on. I, I think so. Sorry. Damn sucks too because I love the bounce light on Venom looks. Like. Oh, no, no. Hey, like I say, I haven't, like, I'm still leaning towards this one. I just wanted some feedback. Um, but I I do think it's smart to, uh, oh, wow, I forgot that I. Even that looks kind of cool. Eh? Do you guys like it like that with, like, the big, stark black background? Feels a little bit more like, like it pops a bit. I don't know. I actually don't really mind that. That feels very like, <laughs> yeah, like retro. Hmm. I don't know. I, 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 I don't know. All right, let's go to, let's rename this one in case, you know, that way we don't screw this up. All right, uh, so I forget. Just give me one second here, you guys. I just want to see what layers I have to turn to do all this. Put some color balance on there. Okay, what is this? Give that to that. That's the halo some outlines and some spit all right so let's try it here let's go into uh, like that blackish blue 
Again, my only reservations here. Ah, this might get a little shitty. Don't really appreciate it. Because there's going to be colors that are. Oh, uh, man. Okay. I feel like all I'm doing is complaining here. <laughs> Bear with me. And let's find the highlight colors. Was he saying like a red for this bounce light? Yeah, red doesn't. Yeah, red's not bad. Uh, I like both, but for some reason the blue background speaks to me more. Black looks cool, but I feel like it muddies it up. A bit. Yeah. No. Uh, okay. Cool. I feel like we're on the same page here. All right. I don't know if this is what he's talking about. Sorry about uh, taking your time away here, guys. Your time. <laughs> One second here. I'm just trying to. You guys know what I'm doing here. All right. Let's find. Uh, I need to find the white color on him uh, so that we can shade his symbol on his chest. We're going the wrong direction. That's what we want. All right, so we're going to click there and we're going to go back up to our shadow layer. And let's go in here and we'll just bring it down. Maybe we'll bring in some blue into the gray. feeling these ones either but hey you always gotta try right look at that when you start saturating some real slick blue on there oh my god <laughs> here let's let's adjust this color here this is <laughs> shadow let's reset everything here zero 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 this is the secret sauce right here you guys when you're done coloring okay add a level balance right so this is how it looks, and then I'm adding a level balance. It just It's just a slight little thing, and it just brings it together. And the next thing you want is a color balance layer. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. It's the business. And all I really do is just use shadow and highlight. I do this with Jessup King too, right? So the shadow colors are looking like they're like just a, a blue, right? But it's almost like a, a dark blue, not a cyan. So if we bring it into the blue, you can see how like it just starts bringing some stuff in. Uh, and then I usually just go up here and do like the opposite. That's not too bad. Uh, let's go to the highlights. The highlights are like this light blue, or maybe they're. Let's go to the. Uh, whew, that's pretty gas. It's funny how much like you can get like just such a different feel with just shades of color, you know. Like this one feels a little bit more like he's like. Uh, that oil feel, I think. Oh, hey, don't worry about it, AK man. We're we're getting there. Trust me. I know you might not feel it or see it yet, but trust me, dude. You're getting there. All right, what if we double up the levels? Ooh, ooh. How's that feel to you guys? 
So let me save this. Let me send it to my brother for Trezla's feedback. Okay, the tongue, I have to change the uh, the reflective light on the tongue. It's not, it's not right. It's supposed to be like these red shades. Um, but I'm going to open up both. That way you guys can kind of see Venom color. I think, it's funny, you look at this for a while and then you look at the next one, you're like, oh shit, you know, like, <laughs> maybe that one wasn't that good, you know? Uh, Philemon, how's it going, my man? Alright, let's wait for it to open. Uh, Paint said, did you use Lasso Tool for the highlights and the bounce light? Yes, I did. Yeah, anything with a gradient, I did that. The shadows, I did the exact same way that you saw me doing it with um, Jessup. Uh, redoing Venom. Uh, my brother just got back to me with some feedback, and I wanted to apply the feedback he uh, sent me. And then send it to him just real quick. All right, so this is what the, the one we started with, right? Wow, man, like, you know what's funny? I looked at this one in the, in the beginning, and I was like, I like it. You know, it's slick. It's got that thing. But now that I'm in here, I'm like, ooh, okay, all right. This one's kind of got some flavor to it. It's got some stink. I don't know. You know what? Obviously, I'm not going to make the decision right away. I, 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 I'm going to get the bounce light up here. And let me just try this before I send it off. I just want to show you guys. This is one of the things I like to do with bounce light. I don't know where I got it from, but I, I like the way it looks. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So let me just, where is it? Okay, right in here. So if you guys see, this is the shadow, right? That's in there that we already just drew in. Um, but what I'll do with bounce light is I put it inside the shadow there. That's the color we want. But what I'm thinking, what 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 I'm what I'm thinking, is if we erase this, it might look a little better. It's because the light's coming up maybe too much. I don't know. Yeah, see, I like that one better. When it's erased there. Uh, what are you saying there? Yeah, I like the darker one, but both look great. Looks like arcade Venom versus Ar Venom now. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm glad you guys are sort of like on the same page when I was trying to do like, like I said, the video game version, like the Capcom version of the early Venom. At least like whether people... Oops, I muted it there. Uh, whether people like it or not, that's not... I would prefer if people enjoy it, obviously, right? But uh, as long as what I'm trying to get across is there. That's all that I'm really caring about. All right, let's put uh, PNG2. Let's, uh, we'll go, I think it was 1,200. That's still pretty big, isn't it? No, that's fine. Okay, we'll hit OK. I'm going to close this up. Just give me one second here. I'm just sending it to him over uh, Facebook. And then uh, we'll get back to uh, good old Jessup game. Something like this. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, is this all done doing its thing? Let's close it. <laughs> it's funny looking at this one now. I don't know why. I do like the, you know what, again? Like, I'm not trying to sell it to you guys or whatever, right? It's just, <laughs> what? I don't know why it's, I don't know. This has been like a thing for a while now where it's like it, the, the stream will just die randomly. And I, I don't know why. Mm -hmm. 
Jason saying he likes that second one better. <laughs> I'm good. Uh, AK saying, sorry, uh, the arcade venom, just the background doesn't fit. Okay, I could respect that. I'll have to look at it tomorrow with some, some fresh, fresh eyes. <laughs> Sell them both as your living. Uh, no, I don't think so. I, it might be my internet. I don't. I don't. I'm not sure. Just been happening for a little while now. Last few days, anyway. Uh, why not sell both? Yeah, that's a good question. Well, the the main thing is I just you don't. One thing that sucks is when you do prints is getting stuck with prints. I mean, it's a good problem to have, but. So I, well, honestly, I like to give it a few days or a couple days after I color it. Um, that way I can look at it again and have a, a better opinion on it. Because sometimes, I don't know if you guys ever get like this. this uh, and if you do, try what I'm, what I'm explaining. But if you guys ever, you'll spend like an hour or X amount of hours drawing or coloring or doing something. And once you're done, you're done. And you might feel like it's like, I don't know, but it's done anyway. It, I just don't know if I feel like it or you think it's awesome. But you look at it like a week later and you're like, nah, I'm not feeling it. I recommend doing anyway. It's like anything you do, try your best unless you absolutely have to. Try to um, finish it and then come back to it a day later at best, like a, a couple weeks later if you got that much time. Uh, and then look at it again with a critical eye and you might look at it and I, I guarantee you your art will get better just by doing that because I, I find or I found anyway that when I would finish something walk away and start something else my art would always look better if I gave it a little bit of time came back to it and then said yes or no if this is finished and not to spend another 15 hours on an image you'll say but just look at it and go no or yes and just change something uh, like subtly about it and it would just make it so much better so give that a shot you guys might get some gains from that <laughs> isn't the venom uh, venom limited edition or just a hand drawn one uh yeah it's limited edition that's something i'm trying i don't know how many we're gonna print yet i gotta print some for a convention as well but so we'll see the 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 will only be one original that like, i'll be selling the the inks and pencil version yep and it comes with the print as well. Why I'm doing that too is just to see if uh, the audience that watches my stuff or that buys my stuff, if they're interested in original art, you know. Jose is the same. All right, man. I like it.
Ah, uh, speak of the devil, we got James set in some flats now. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Uh, great. Hey, Jose, I got your friend request there, but uh, if you don't mind, uh, I haven't, I'm not really taking friend requests from people uh, anymore just because my feed gets, it was affecting me bad, man. <laughs> I've got no Facebook self-control, so uh, if you want to communicate with me and all that cool stuff and, you know, be, fr the way, way I recommend it is I, I recommend everybody just follow my uh, art page, so I think it's just Jonathan Rector Illustration or something, like, art, I don't know what it's called, something like that. If you need a link, I can give it to you, but you can always send messages to me on there if you need to chat about anything or, or anything like that. I'm trying my best anyway to have like that separation between work and, uh, like I guess, family or whatever the hell, I don't know. Uh, Pete, uh, you should do a single issue of Jessup with only shadows as color on each page, like a memory or flashback issue. I think it would be cool visual. Thanks, man. This right here, um, right in the beginning, I mean, you'd be going back, frag, man, like around Christmas. When we were streaming, I was trying to decide what we were going to do, if I wanted to do color or not. And uh, there's a really cool comic called Space Mullet. And Space Mullet does this, and I just didn't want to emulate them because my comic's new you know what I mean uh, in hindsight it's a, I don't know if it was stupid but you should just make the comic don't worry about if it's emulating certain people um, but yeah it would have sped things up because then I wouldn't have to color stuff right but I don't know I kind of like it colored now it's a little extra work for sure but like the style of the comic has always been a little bit more like uh, like a Sunday morning cartoon for now we just had blood a couple pages ago, so it's going to get a little more serious. But and we'll see what's going to happen, especially once we get into like some cities and stuff. We'll see how long that just takes. God damn. Uh, I just found him on Instagram. Oh, uh, you found Jose on Instagram? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so we got Scrim, Boca, they're done. Let's get Mexia all inked up here, or shattered up. Hey, yeah, no problem, man. You can uh, still send me uh, all that stuff on uh, my fan page. It's all good. No offense taken, don't worry about it, man. It's all good. Unrealized. When you hold me.
<laughs> Are the issues only available to, uh, for Jess of King? Hey, thanks, AK man. We're going to be getting more of this kind of stuff going forward, too. Just I wanted to start the story off a little, you know, like innocent and sweet, you know? That way, once we can kind of get into the action, the superhero y stuff, uh, hopefully it, it pays off a little better. Instead of just jumping right in. You know, I'm going to wine and dine you guys a little bit, you know, take you out for dinner. Then we're going to get some art going, you know, get some story in there. Uh, yeah, no, so uh, Jessup King just started, dude. Uh, it's totally free. You can go to jessupking.com. You go to Instagram. You go to Facebook. Webtoons, Tapastic, wherever you like. And you can subscribe and follow it there for freezies and uh, get it when it updates. Right now it updates every Monday and Friday until this first chapter is done. And I'm going to be changing how the comic is released. It'll be released kind of like um, how Webtoons does it. So it'll be multiple pages per update. So think of it like a TV show. Uh, and I'll be updating like scenes of that show. So it won't be an issue with an issue, that kind of stuff. Uh, so it might be like a month between chapter updates. And that doesn't mean that you're going to get like 20 pages a month kind of thing. Uh, it'll just be as they are done, then I'll be sending them out. Uh, to make money and stuff, I'm not even worried about that. That that's next year is what I'm. <laughs> I'll I'll start taking on that stuff. Uh, and I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do since it's all for free. So we'll see. For right now, it's all good, man. You can go ahead and read it, man. Yeah, yeah, no problem. So James sent us some flat. So some of the colors are off, but that's cool. I'll show you guys here. So let's save it. Okay, let's just let that download. So you guys can see this in action, I guess. Okay, cool. What do you think of DAs now, John? Or for anyone else? Uh, DA, like DeviantArt or is DA something else? Sorry, I'm not up with all the, <laughs> the cool speak. All right, so let's take a look here. Let's open up these flats that James did here. Unsupported file format. What? What are, you, what are you talking? It's PSD. Why can't I open that? Unsupported. All right. Give me a second. Uh, now that I know I'm going to be reading and I'm trying to pay. Hey, hey, don't worry about it, man. <laughs> Actually, if you want, I mean, hey, if you're going to go through all of it right now, awesome. It should be a quick read. There's not much dialogue in the comic, but... Uh, if I could ask one thing of you, is if you are going to read it now, please leave uh, any kind of constructive criticism you got or anything like that. I've got thick skin. Any criticism you can give just makes uh, the next pages better too. So I appreciate that, man. Okay, cool. So...
let me try. Cook up heavy metal. Oh, wait, I think I downloaded this wrong. Okay, where did you save? Downloads, okay, let's try this. I think I screwed that up. Let's try it again. I gotta clean this folder up, Jesus. Ah, there we go. Got it. All right, so what we would do, so this is how James sends the flats in there. I want to see, I try to get him to do something a little different here. If you guys remember, I call it like a special effects layer. That's whenever I have like, you know, like speed, speed lines or like this kind of stuff here, right? So like flashes. Um, I don't know if the colors, look, I'm sure the colors are off. Sometimes, you know, he, nobody's, I mean, I guess, <laughs> It's very close. Like a lot of the stuff is probably already done. Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, I'm going to finish coloring. No, I'll do this now so you guys can see it because I know not everybody's got all the time in the world. So I'll get the flats in like this, right? So let's, this is the shadows that I've already done. So what I'm going to do is just close all this. I'm actually going to merge all these. No, actually, we'll do it this way. So I'm going to copy all those shadows. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and put it over top of the flats. Right. And theoretically, right, if I just merge these together, and as soon as I hit multiply, it's pretty much done, right? Like, bang, there you go. So it's a finished page for the most part. Uh, but, again, sometimes the colors are a little off, so I've just got to adjust them. And then we can put, like, a little bit of special effect kind of stuff on there and presto, pango, bongo, bingo, bango, bongo. See you, AK. Thanks for coming in, my man. Hope you have a great day. Yes, I do put textures on the final color. It's just a, um, I'll let you know when I put it on. <laughs> You'll see it. It's just a texture I overlay everything, like a paper texture. Okay, so let's turn that back off. Uh, and I'm going to open up a previous page. Hey, welcome, Troy. You know what I realized? I think the shadows are the wrong color, and they've been wrong for a while. That's a bum out. So let's get his skin color. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I'm gonna duplicate his flats just in case, you know, I get a little, little crazy out there. We can't fix anything. Let's grab our wand tool. Uh, so what are we doing here? Actually, let's do this. I can see it better. All right, so just use our wand. Uh, we just want from the current layer. That way it gets all the nice purple.
think these might be right. Let's take a look. Hey Dennis, uh, Keeman. John, I did, sorry, I had did one of the best drawings that I've ever done in my entire comic career yesterday in my drawing software. If you're wondering, I did a portrait drawing of Medusa. For, oh, cool, man. Good for you. That hard work's paying off. What do you guys think of uh, the, the inhuman stuff? You guys excited for that, or? Nobody care? <laughs> So close that by accident. <laughs> Think Lockjaw looks good, that's about it. <laughs> Trying to replace X-Men with those intergalactic dorks is just terrible. So I'm a huge Inhumans fan. I'm a huge Fantastic Four fan. And, uh... I mean, I really don't, I'll be honest, I'll just be straight up honest with you, I don't really watch TV. I'm sure most people in here probably don't either. Uh, but in saying all of that, I'm, I'm not very interested in it. But obviously if there's some people in here that are all interested, you know, sweet. But in the comics and stuff, I always thought the Inhumans were real cool. They were different. Oh, well, maybe they weren't different. They felt like, yeah, almost like mutants. Without being X-Men, you know?
LG, welcome back, man. How's your comics going today? to jessupking.com now this is a graphic novel an ongoing series this is the beginning of the story when Jessup flies onto the planet and they get stranded uh, that's the the start of uh, this chapter or whatever it's not meant to be a graphic novel uh, even though I, I totally understand where that could come from that's my fault uh, it's meant to just be an ongoing series yep hey create now how's it going buddy how's it going Lemon and cheap perfume. You think they're outlaws? Ooh. I like it. Let's uh let's all do some uh <laughs> I'll get um I'll get greedy here, okay? For those of you that are reading Jessup King anyway, and you guys if you dig it, whatever. Play along. Let's let's play a little game. Let's have some fun. If you guys are reading Jessup King or whatever and you, and you don't and you like the book or whatever, what do you think is like I know there's probably not much going on right now that makes you think of like plot twists or anything deep or anything, but if you guys have like ideas of what you think, and I'm not trying to steal ideas to use, <laughs> I secretly want to see if any of you guys are coming close to uh, maybe like backstories or, or, or that kind of stuff. All right, so Jessup's ready to rock. How's he looking? Good, good, good. Got to get some uh, fingernails on him. So where does it, the story starts? Yeah, uh, literally. Well, uh, okay. So the story has obviously a backstory. Uh, but I wanted to start the comic as like they're already together doing something, and you're just sort of picking up from there. Uh, you know, it, I guess it, like it's it's like any I don't know, I'm not calling the story good, but it's like anything, right? Like let's say Lord of the Rings. It starts you know with Gandalf showing up with Frodo, but there's like that whole history of Bilbo and stuff still, that kind of thing, you know? A tragic backstory. <laughs> Um, like if you're starting the comic, it it was my full intent anyway, whether I succeeded or not, uh, to sort of make it very lighthearted and again Saturday morning cartoon style, which is fun. Jessup's a big goof, right? Uh, we all know you might not, but on the side of the of the website there, it tells you like 
the premise of the story, right? So he's a war machine, but I'm, I tried anyway to play him off as more of like a, you know, he's a big goof, big lovable guy, and uh, likes hummus and wrestling and stuff. Uh, but right now, and especially where the story is going now, like right before, like the the current page that's up right now, I think I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure. It, are they yeah they just started the fight I think, and then the page that should be coming up on Friday it shows Jessup doing something that's uh, pretty aggressive. So I'm hoping the tone you know shifts there. But again yeah it was my intent to start it off a certain way, um, and then the book gets hopefully get more serious. Not to the point where it's like you still can't have jokes and laughs, but when something's a war machine you know. It, generally has like a, there's there's some some stuff with that um chris is saying well he is illegal to whatever government programmed and trained him up okay matador hey buddy how's it going we were just talking about you a little earlier uh i mentioned before there has to be an entire race of momo species and jessup may not be the last war machine or perhaps someone is reactivating the war machines cool okay so what i started to read was the beginning yeah, sorry, I don't. I don't mean to make this more complicated than it is. It's it's definitely it's it's the start of where everybody started. So if anybody's reading the comic, page one there, like if you click the beginning or whatever, that's yeah. I'll, like right now, I'm only working on page forty five or something. So, like, stuff will happen where we'll talk about stuff that happened before this, but you you're not missing anything if you if that's where you're starting to read. Yeah. This generation has no idea what Saturn. Sure, I, I guess you are. <laughs> you are. <laughs> hey, well, damn. The plan's foiled before I even get to start. <laughs> On the job, and how can we win? Who's can be kings? Oh, yeah, and Momo's species are called Jubbles. They are Jubbles. Jubble, Jubble, Jubbles. Uh, sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm on tilt right now. I don't know what the F I'm doing. Okay, so this one's done. Done, done. I don't know if this one's done. I think that's how I've been coloring the Pokeballs. Let's take a look. Um... Just need to see a picture of... Yeah, that's what we want. This one. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I, I think it was you that was. Uh, what, I forget what we were even talking about. It was definitely good. It was uh, like an idea for something or, or something, something. I don't know. So all of that's red with the red top. Cool. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I think that's fine. We'll leave this like that. Well, this is a this is a stupid design choice by John. So uh, all of this is supposed to be red, but the moment we do this, check it out, we're gonna lose some information there. How's that look? That doesn't look very good. All right, well, we have to retcon some stuff here. <laughs> Maybe nobody will notice. We gotta color some backgrounds. I think this dude's the right color. No, his spikes are like a bright yellow. Oops. Background looks good. Background looks good. Jubbles, where are you coming up with these names? <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I like coming up with names, whether they're, they're good or not. I get uh, I, I, I have a lot of fun making names.
3 a.m. Damn. These uh, Pokeball things, they look pretty boring, eh? I don't know. <laughs> but it's all just one flat color. Get some color in there, anyway. Okay. Uh, what else are we missing here? we got to put some background colors and stuff. So let's go ahead and do that. Do I have a background on here? Alright, we're going to use that action color. That action Jackson. Alright, let's just copy that whole damn thing. And we will put it in. That's weird, why? This is like the tedious part, just putting it all together, and then once you just start slapping everything on there, it's just like it's done so quick. The boy. 
Hey, uh, damn, how do, you, how do you pronounce it? Is it I don't want to say it's Guido. Uh, Guido? Anyway, the killer pimp. How's it going, buddy? Uh, John, uh, hey, John, was the mail to send you stuff for the reviewing? Oh, here, I'll uh, post in the chat. I don't know why that was highlighted like that. Just JonathanRector82 at gmail.com. Hey, thanks, Matador. Hey, maybe it'll happen, eh? Wouldn't that be kind of cool? What <laughs> uh, we'll keep trying. If it's not on a Marvel book, you know, at least this is out there. This is something. You know what I mean? But I, I appreciate the support, brother. Freaking missing here. Okay, so we got. Okay, so the ground. We're going to take from this one. Get some action spoilers for you guys here. Yeah, dude. No, I'm. Trust me. I'm with you, man. I'll take. I say I'll take anything. That makes me sound desperate, but. Maybe I am a little desperate. As much as I love coloring, if I got to just do like, you know, the inks on a book, that'd be cool too. To give me a little, a little bit of a break, cause you know, trust me, the process is fun. A little tedious sometimes, but it, overall, it's fun. Um, it's funny how that looks so different. Hmm. Um, but. Sometimes it's nice to just have to worry about just inking, you know? Maybe not just inking, but how's that look? Is that a little better? Maybe it's the background. Maybe that's the background. Background, is that what we want? Uh-oh. 
a white screen. Is that the crash screen? No, where? Yeah, it is. All right. So white screen is crash screen. That's great. All right, let's open it up. Cool story, man. Hey, Jessa. What's up, buddy? Haven't seen you all night. You been sleeping? You have a little snack? Hey. Yeah. Good guy. Okay, so I can't seem to load. My oh, here we go. Maybe it's loading now. What the f... Jump it up. Come in. Slowly coming back to life. There you go, Papa. All right, let's try that again. Dun, 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 dun. Let's see if the file's corrupted. Let's, get, let's just let's just do all the fun stuff. Let's see if it's all snapped up. If it's good. Let's see. She's loading. All right. Looks all right. It's a good thing we just saved, eh? Damn. I think it's just when I open up too many of these... Uh, oh, no, I didn't save. Look, there's some... Oh, I'm missing a whole bunch. I thought I just saved this thing. Oh, well, okay. Well, let's try it again. page did we have here? Oh, okay, let's do this one first. Oh yeah, definitely did, man. She had enough. She tapped out. Hey, Sean, how's it going, buddy? So purple is definitely not going to work since this dude's just purple. Hugh Satration.
Hey, thanks, man. Yeah, we're just fiddling in. Uh, James got us some uh, flats a little early today, which is great. I didn't know I'd be putting them together today, but if we go light, I feel like if we go like dark, you know what I mean? Can really uh, show off that explosion. What about green? How's green? All right, let's let's look at our color wheel. Let's try to like <laughs> make this pop. So this dude is all purples and yellow, right? So he's on like this side. So maybe if we go split color, yeah, like the green greens are right, I guess. Yeah, let's just not go too dark, maybe. don't know if I'm sold on this you guys so I'm just gonna leave it like this for now we can always come back uh, paint saying like dude I can't express enough this book is amazing oh thanks dude I just finished and I'm caught up so far see it takes like how long a couple minutes <laughs> there's no writing in my comic so far it's epic wow um, oh, thank you dude well I appreciate that this is a sick definitely shelf where the comic only crit is I I had wish the texture overlay is a bit distracting it's it's all sorry is all it's kind of heavy but so far so you're not the only person that has said that i do get people on both sides saying it's heavy or, or not heavy but it's distracting so some people don't mind it some people i haven't heard from and some people you know whatever uh, i appreciate it the, the reason i guess i give the reason not to defend it but the reason i put it in there is i like try to have that paper look of the old like 90s comics or like early 90s late 80s comics and it kind of gives a little, a little bit of a retro feel, but I can totally see and understand how some people might not like it. Maybe I didn't use it too much, but I do appreciate the feedback, man. And thank you. I hope, uh, I hope you'll continue to read it. And if you, f hey, hey, if you feel like sharing it with your buddies and your bros, that's pretty kick-ass too. <laughs> but thanks, man. Gamer Glitch, welcome back. It's been a very long time. You've been here before, haven't you? I believe you have. So these flats, they're, they're pretty much, they should be done. Okay, what the hell else am I missing here? Because it crashed, remember? So we lost some stuff. Uh, this. Oh, I can see this too. Alright, let's get this ground going here. So what did we look at for the, oh yeah the suplex right the suplex spoilers 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 <laughs> yes but I was pausing and just enjoying the art but it was good and okay cool <laughs> right on well again yeah I do appreciate you taking the time to read it man giving me the feedback. That's probably the most important part. I, I could have swore I saved. 
but restoring Mega Studio proved that was a lie. Alright, I, th I think. No, what I'm missing. What am I missing? Background colors, that's what I'm missing. Uh, so we went here with this one, I remember that. Let's go to our flats. Let's get the white around there so that it pops. Uh, what the hell else? We got this. I don't like that background color here for this. I think we're just going to swipe in this stuff here. Burn into the ground. Na -na 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 -na. Still not a fan of this. I think, you know what, guys? You know what? I think we're going to go ahead and just make this same kind of stuff. Oops. There'd just be too much yellow, though. Sorry I'm talking to myself a lot here, but... can't have <laughs> it's like I can't have a light background because I need the ex explosion part here that's going to be the color so in order to make that pop we got to have a darker background so that's all the green I'll uh, look at some other stuff uh, but we just need to get a sky in here it's almost done the page literally it's this is just like that you know that small annoying stuff I got to do and then once the shadow's on there, bang, and you press the bang, go, all that stuff. That belly to back suplex. Oh, thanks, man. Spoilers. Shh. Spoilers. It's just a stupid background still, right? Yeah. Okay. Alright. Close all this. Let's try to find... Okay, so I, I talked about this before. Just so you guys... And some of you are new here. What, what, the, what the hell I'm doing here. Is I recommend... Wow, I just hit puberty there. Did you hear that? I recommend... <laughs> if you're coloring your comic... I mean, well, this is specifically for if you're coloring. But if you're... If you're coloring... <laughs> Go back and look at other pages you did and pull colors that you've already done. Uh, it'll save you time, plus, uh, in my, my opinion anyway, it, it's been helping me big time just by adding in, um, I guess, the feeling of consistency, you know? It's like maybe, is it just black I use in this one? Maybe that's what we gotta do. Let's check out this one. 
Uh, Sean saying, I've been having issues saving in Manga Studio lately. Whenever I try, it tells me it's unable to do so and I have to save under another file type. Are you saving on, do you save to like drive and stuff or is that like on your local computer? On your local computer. <laughs> on your hard drive, I mean. <laughs> on your local computer? What if we just go, just go black? You know what? I think black just might be the way to go. Or this dark blue. I think we can go with this. What is it? When in doubt, black it out. I like it. Alright, let's save this up and let's get this puppy going. Dark red. Uh, no, I haven't uh, paint. The only reason is because that's most likely, like the color you're going to see here. I'm going to try my best to make this the explosion of this stuff coming out here. Like the flashy part. And usually in the comics so far, like a red background or bright orange, I've used for like an action thing, like somebody getting punched or something like that. Okay. So let's go into our special effects. So what I'm going to do... Is that everything? Yeah, it is. Uh, see you later, buddy. Thanks, Dennis, for popping in, even though it's so late on your side. Hey, yeah, no problem, Paint. Yeah, if you have any questions, dude, go ahead, throw them out. I try to make this as, or this, these streams anyway, as, like, open and transparent as you guys need. If you guys need help with that, you just shout it out, let me know. You save on an external hard drive? Okay, the reason I ask is, I don't know if this is the case, but, like, at my day job, uh, we've started to save on drive, right? So it's uploading. I get that error all the time. And the reason it's happening for me anyway is I save it, but it's still uploading when I try to resave it. So it's getting that error because it's not done. Maybe you might have like a slow hard drive or something uh, where it's still not fully saved on the hard drive. Like you're saving too quick. That might be it. I, I'm not sure. You could maybe try that.
So you work with uh, different ink layers for each panel. How many layers do you typically use? Uh, so I, are you familiar with my process on how I make a comic? Like um, breakdowns ink or lines, then inks and stuff like that? If you're not, I can show you that real quick because that the reason I ask is it's it's um, I was gonna say it's important, but it's not that it's important. But my the way I work is affected by that, um, so it'll address some of the questions you currently have there of uh, like how many layers and stuff like that. All right. So what I'm also gonna do here, this is the fun stuff. Uh, I've only just started to fully watch your videos relative. Okay, cool. All right, so check it out. Check it out, check it out, check it out. Do, 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 do. This could break some computer stuff, so I apologize. All right, so actually, I'll just sort of, yeah, well, what the hell, I'll go through it all because it's maybe a little update for some people. So uh, I use a process here that's talked about in the DC Comics Guide to Digitally Drawing Comics. Uh, and in there, Freddie talks about how he has all these steps up here. Most people on how I used to work, and you could totally do it this way, it's just I don't do this way anymore, but it's a normal thing, is where people get like a thumbnail or something, they'll scan it in, they'll put it on their uh, document, so if it's an 11 by 17, whatever size you're gonna work at, you put it in there and you'll blow it up so it's the full size, then you grab like a pencil or something and you tighten up the line art, and then you make another layer and you just ink over top of it. Uh, so your layers in that case, it's a little bit different. I don't do that. What I do is I'll make a file like for a thumbnail and I'll put the thumbnail image in there and then I'll do a stage called breakdowns which is kind of like your tight and you'll see what I mean by tight it's really not that tight and then we go into line art and then inks and then colors and stuff like that now each time I do this I save a new file the reason for this at least the way it's talked in that book is if you lose a file you can always go back and you'll have a version of it that's still available I've yet to have that happen but <laughs> it will happen at some point that's it's digital so let me just show you exactly what the hell I'm talking about and I'll show you why uh, with layers and stuff like that it's a little different so I'm just gonna go to a breakdown page I'll just do um, what's the newest page I just went up I uh, will do this one what the hell is here so we'll do page 37 okay so uh, I should say this as well so in each I have a document here that always has this stuff. My credits and guide. So you got like my name down here, and that I don't know if you can see, it, but there's like a blue bleed. Uh, so I, I try my best to always put like my gutters and stuff inside there. If you don't know what those are, I'll, I'll quickly talk about that. Uh, oh, you do have the book? Okay, perfect. Uh, and then uh, I make a folder for my panels, and then my thumbnails. So my thumbnails, they are uh, usually much smaller than this, and then I just blow them up. So for me, I can see this, and I also put in some text here because I. I sort of do this, make this comic the Marvel method, where I have some plots and stuff, and then I'll put this in there, and then I'll write as I go for the most part. Uh, that way I can keep making pages. But the price to that is that the story isn't going to be stellar because I can't set things up because I'm not writing it that way. So far, anyway, right? Uh, then I lower the transparency, and then I make a new layer called breakdowns. And what the breakdowns are uh, is you can see it's it's a little bit tighter, but it's still like this sloppy sort of thing. What I'm going to be doing actually moving forward is just spending a little bit more time probably penciling this stage in now. Not tight because I want to make this stuff quick, but there's still a lot of guesswork that's in this stuff. And, you know, I don't, I don't really like that. Uh, and then we put our um, panels in there. And then this, and then I save it and this is my breakdown file, okay? And then I'm done with that. The next thing I'll do is I'll do a line, line art file. And this one might be, yeah, like your tight lines. What is it, page 37? Yeah, so you'll see. And I'll show you what that looks like. Just let it load here. Uh, Sean, thanks, Sean. Check it out. Uh, also, question for you. Are you selling your... Okay, sorry. I'll get to your question in a second there, man. Um, okay, so now that I have my breakdown layer in there, let me just show you here. So this is the breakdown layer, right? And it's usually just one file. So the idea is you're always shrinking and turning your previous file into like a layer or two and then building on it. That way you're not having like a like a gigantic file at the end of all this, right? So it's the same thing as I just did with the thumbnail. I bring it in there, lower the transparency, and then I do my tight line. 
tight line art. So you can see, if I zoom in here, it's just like a dead pixel. You have the book, you know what I'm talking about. Simple stuff like here. I'll put in uh, some stuff I'll call like special effects or something with like speed lines, all that kind of thing. Uh, at about this time, that's when I'll put in the text. Usually I like to have the text during the breakdown. That way I know where to draw. Okay, So that's the line art. And then we'll get into the question you were directly asking, uh, inking. And I'll show you what that looks like too. Do, 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 do. Oh, Jojo's being a big kitty cat now. All right, so again, there you go. So we've got our inks. Uh, if I turn the inks off, you can see all of the line art that I did. It's on just a flat layer right now. And if I turn off the text, the special effects, I moved over there. But And then the inking, if you look, I've only got three layers for inks. Usually it's like, honestly, like maybe one to two. I find you don't need too many uh, since it's all just repurposed, not repurposed isn't the right word, I don't even know what the hell the word I'm looking for, but because of the way that this workflow is, I don't need a whole bunch of layers. Right now, currently anyway, the coloring layer that I'm doing right now, uh, there's like a bunch of layers in here because I got some stuff going on here. The coloring can, can tend to get a little messy like this just because I have some, some stuff, you know, working on. A lot of the times, if it's a simple page, it's just flats with like maybe uh, one or two layers above it besides like the correction layers and stuff like that. So I hope that somewhat made sense to you. Uh, Sean was asking, um, quick question, how are you selling your prints? Is it an Etsy shop? Reason to ask, we have a lot of prints left over for recent content. Yeah, dude, it's, uh, I got the idea from Rob over at Sketchcraft. It's through Etsy. Uh, the, I didn't, Etsy, you gotta pay to have like a certain amount of items to sell. So I think you can have 10 for free. I don't think I'll ever go over 10. Uh, so yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. I have my stuff all through there. And you only you get charged every time you post something. So, which sucks. Well, it doesn't suck, let's be honest. If you're selling something online, that's great. So let's say you're selling a print for 10 bucks online. The posting fee might be, I don't know, like 30 to 50 cents or something. Uh, and if somebody buys one, they re-upload that you have another one available and then you have to pay that fee again. So you pay it every time something's reposted up no matter how many quantities you have if you want so it honestly has been great uh, I'd highly recommend it I don't ha I don't have the infrastructure I keep saying uh, I have no idea how to get like my own kind of private star kind of going on thanks Kevin hey yeah no problem paint no problem and if you want, I'm not trying to push this stuff at all uh, if you want you can head over to my patreon I posts like process stuff and there's tutorial stuff over there if you if you want like specific stuff or if you want we also I also do like one-on-one -on -one, uh, sessions too if you had any art or anything you wanted to show all right so let's let's try to keep this going here I'm spending way too much time all right so I got this here and I'm gonna try some some how you say special effects I don't know how this is gonna turn out but layer go ahead and stack put that all on its own yeah, this might work. Now we're gonna go filter, blur, Gaussian blur. It's hmm. weird. Okay, so there, and then we're gonna go. I think it's screen. Yeah, screen looks hot. Let's overlay look. Nah, screen's the way to go. Look at that. But let's cut that out of there. Saucy. We still got to put the shadows on here too, right? So I don't want to get, <laughs> probably should do the, the shadows first. But anyway, so that's the extra sauce we put on there. Let's try this. Let's try that. Ooh, look at that. I don't mind that. Minus 41. Don't forget. Don't forget that, Jesse. Minus 41. Then I'll do minus 40. Whew. That magenta? That, that magenta? Woo! Fuck yeah. All right. 
Uh, let me just check. I don't know what this is. Uh, select layer. What is that? Let me save it. Let's get the shadows in here and uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, what about a radio blur and change of direction to emulate the blast radius? I don't know if clip. Uh, it could. Uh, I mean, let's. I try. I don't want to go. So this is excuse time. So this comic is just like really a flat layer and one shadow color. But sometimes I have to do like a little extra for like fire or lightning and stuff like that. But I try not to, I try my best way not to push it too, too far, even though this might look like it's too far. I try not to push it too, too far because if I do, I feel like then it just starts looking weird when everything's not, um, you know, put together right, I guess. So there we go with the shadow layer. Look at that. I think, I think it helps a little bit. Um... What am I doing? We got our shadow there. All right, let me just sort of organize some of this stuff, you guys. Right, I'm gonna put all this into a folder. I'm gonna call it coloring. Just so I can get a grasp on this. There we go, now it looks, looks a little cleaner. All right, so let's open up the previous page so I can get the blending mode stuff and all that crap. So color, like I say, it's almost done at this point. Once once that kind of stuff's put in there, you're, you're I uh, don't know if we want that one. Let's just open this one. All right, I want all that stuff. It's right here. These are the ones I want. It's like a, it's like this green overlay. We put over everything and I put over the inks, right? Actually, I should probably go over the special effects too. There we go. I thought I put it, maybe I didn't put a shadow on there. Oh, that looks cool too. That looks real cool. It's almost like the ball. Nah, let's keep it here. Let's keep yeah, paint. No, that's what. I, yeah, you you realize it right when I saw it too. I'm like, there, I know there's there's a there's a shadow there. Let me open up. Uh, Forty five. Is this the one? Yeah. See, I have a shadow there. Where did, where did, what happened to that? Let's uh, copy and paste that back in. I think the only last thing is, ah shit, where's my text? <laughs> Alright, I thought this was, <laughs> I thought we were done, but I guess not. I'm jumping ahead. Alright, let's go to our uh, ink slayer. I imagine I got my uh, text in here somewhere. There it is, okay. So text. Ah, shit, this is, um, hmm. All right, let's turn it back on. Yeah, there's some, just some dialogue stuff I gotta do here. So, uh, we go edit, change, image resolution, back down to 300. <clears throat> we'll save it. Mixy hat pluck. All right, so this is the stuff I just have to add a color to or something. Uh, text pluck. Uh, then we can just go like this color.
Uh, sorry. Also, what? Sorry, what you did looked cool when it took the black lines out. It could do. No, you're. Yeah, man. I think we're on the exact same page with like what we like. I saw that. I'm like, oh, you know, what'd be sick. It's like the pokeball opens and he throws it, and as it gets to the thing and it opens up to get released or whatever, it's sort of like the energy of the ball turns into energy and it like dissolves. You know, like it just disappears. So there's no like. That's what I was thinking anyway, like that. And I'll. <laughs> Be totally upfront with a lot of you guys. I've said it uh, before with you, is that sometimes the one thing I really do enjoy about writing with like this Marvel method kind of stuff is exactly that. I'll draw something, put an effect on something. It's like, oh shit, that that's a cool idea, and then I'll just write it in. Is that's the way it's supposed to be? <laughs> the secrets of comics, right there. All right, let's see if we can find a. What color could we use as green? Maybe we can kind of. Sure, I've got his exclamation marks on the other one. No, no, nope. Uh, I have the plots worked out, uh, but the dialogue. Um, I pretty much do as I go, but sometimes I'll add a page or two if I feel like I want to like flesh out a scene or something like that I try not to get too too strict like I say if this was um, a graphic novel or something like that then I, w I would be doing this project probably a lot different than I am actually you know what we might be able to just do this with that stuff Okay, so pretty sure that's it. I think we're done. Uh, and the last, whoops, the last, 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 last thing is the texture. And we'll use, we'll just grab here. La, 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 la. Copy. And copy that. Paste. Look at that. Finished. Juicy page. There, I'll show it with you guys. You guys can get into like some uh, spoilers here. You ready? So we'll just slowly go through this here. Cool. Uh, same. Alright, we'll close it, close it, close it. And we're going to go back to doing what we were doing. Forty six is forty six what we were doing? Yeah, yeah. Man, it was a little while ago we were doing this <laughs> doing this, eh? Okay. And that's pretty much the color process right there. Uh walk through in the park. I like that name. I like that name. That's a good name. Uh, how do you get that logo on your image while viewing from the folder. What could you describe the lo sorry what the logo? How do you get that logo on your image? What logo are you talking about, bud? 
Hey, matter, uh, Jonathan, when you start working for the <laughs> for the big boys, will you be working on the? Yeah, I'll definitely be working this way. Uh, I remember talking to uh, Will, and <laughs> it's funny. You remember uh, what over the weekend there? I was sort of talking about. I want to add a little bit more rendering in this stuff because if I'm going to start going for Marvel DC and those guys, I feel like uh, it's got to. I got to have more rendering and all this stuff. But like, we had talked a bunch of times about that, and he was telling me about doing stuff like that. Honestly, if you look at a lot of Marvel books, not a lot, but there is a percentage of books that are they're not all rendered all hell. Like this would be more than enough. And the thing is, sometimes this is not. I don't want to say good enough, but it lets the colorist really shine. As much as I love heavy shadowed stuff, I don't know. It can get away from you pretty quick. I'm not. I enjoy doing it from time to time, but I'm not. I, don't, I wouldn't say I'm, I'm well trained in it. But on the on the other side, I guess that sort of means too that it limits the style of books that I could potentially get, right? Like if you think about it, probably not going to get a Batman <laughs> or a Moon Knight or, or a Ghost Rider kind of thing. Might be more along the lines of maybe I don't want to say Spider Man. Like the lighter hearted books perhaps but we'll see lots of people change their style when they get in there too after a little bit I would say the first thing on the memorandum if I got picked up is eat, do as best I can to make everything look as awesome as I can but first and foremost never miss a single single deadline you gotta, I gotta, I, I would feel that you'd have to earn your way in, right? Like, I feel like that's what you always hear people always talking about. It's like a web comic. Don't start your web comic until you have a buffer. <laughs> but the buffer will always never be enough. You'll always like run out of that too. He's talking about your brand image on your video. Oh, you mean on the screen here? Like everything around there? Like where it says all my links to my social stuff. Okay, I'll be right back, you guys. I just got to grab some water. Okay, I'll be right back.
It's gonna be a second here, guys. I gotta move my desk up. <laughs> Sorry, I noticed like a pain in my uh, in my calf or something. Uh, la, 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 la. The circle swiggle. The circle swiggle. I don't understand what you're what you're asking, man. Sorry. Uh, let me here. You know what? Let me open up this stuff so I can kind of. Trying to help you out here. Sorry, sorry. Uh, the circle. Um, I'm terrible at describing. Uh, sorry, fourth dimension. At 640, what's that logo on the M pages? Whew. Give me a second. I, I think I might know what you're talking about. Um, Let's see if we can help them out here. So if I open this up, you're talking about my logo. My logo. This stuff right here? Is this what you're talking about, bud? This stuff in the bottom corner? If that's what you're talking about, uh, that's just Windows way of letting me know that Clip Studio Paint is that file. Um, and if you want to see that, if you go up here to change your view, you can click it. You know, you get a nice thumbnail view like that. You can get it like that. Or you can even see the image. Or you can get it like that. I like to have it as big as possible. That way I can see it a little bit better. But that, I hope that's the question you're asking. If not, I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Okay. Let's keep this train going. So we'll probably stop the stream tonight once I finish all three of these pages putting the, the shadows on them. That's the goal. Uh, I have tomorrow off of work, so we'll be streaming a good chunk of tomorrow. You'll be there. Uh, hmm. So right now it's basically 10 p.m. Uh, I I don't want to put a time on it, but I would probably guess around 8 to 9 a.m. around there. So in a, in about 12 hours, I'd say.
Alright, cool, man. Yeah, I'll see you then. Thanks. Hey, Papa. This one's this panel anyways done. Let's uh, soften up some of these edges. Oh, bright and early. Bright and bushy tail. Yeah, the reason why too, guys, it's that I like to, you know, try to stream early on, on days off, is. The, <laughs> well, the main reason is I figure if I somehow can manage to get up every day to go to work for somebody else, but on my weekends I choose to sleep in, and this is what makes me happy, like the happiest out of those two, something's wrong. I'm not calling anybody else out here that does that, that doesn't think that. I'm just saying for me that's why. So Okay, so this one's good. All right, let's keep keep it going. put her mostly in shadow. Hey Stu, how's it going man? Uh, how do you make a dark line an outline? Hmm. Could you uh, be a little bit more specific with that one bud? Are you asking like how do I, I if, if this is what I'm thinking you're talking about, uh, like a contour line, like this black line I have around the characters? Is that what you're talking about?
See you, Sean. Have a good night, bud. Hey Calvin. Uh, no, I don't. I don't really watch many uh, cartoons or movies either, really. Is there an easy way to do good lettering in Clip Studio? Uh, yes and no. I mean, a lot of the tools, in my opinion, in Clip Studio make lettering good, like easy, not good. Like they have a lot of stuff that you can always adjust the speech balloons and all that stuff. Learning good lettering, though, that's like a whole other thing. You'd have to just keep looking online for some some tools and stuff, like good practices. There's usually on Facebook if you follow a few comic groups. That post uh, some things from time to time. I can recommend if you, if you need it if you're trying to look how to get like learn better uh, writing or not writing but lettering is uh, really study the comics that get you excited so let's just say for sake of argument it's Spider-Man open up your favorite Spider-Man books or whatever and like just look at it different study what they're doing the spacing what letters they make bold when somebody screams, what does that sound effect look like? You know? That'd be my advice, anyway. Hey Lawrence, how's it going, man? What size font is good for comics? Uh, again, what I would do is, um, what I did even for this comic, is look online or scan your favorite comic, scale it, like transform it to the size of your document, and then just copy those, those uh, measurements. So what I did with Jess up here, I'll show you. I knew I wanted this to primarily be on Instagram. And like a lot of places online are around that format. So uh, let me see if I can show you here. 
So I made this and then I uploaded it to Instagram. So what this let me do is I, I did this, right? Like I could put some text and I could say, okay, what size you see? Let's enjoy R is 13 pixels. This one's 11. This is for like widths and line art and stuff like that. Just a recommendation. And then that way you can look at on the device you're looking at. If it's paper, uh, that one's super simple. You can just copy like any comic book. Oh, if you're not enjoying it in Clip Studio, then yeah, you can look somewhere else. But what is it about like Clip Studio that you don't like for lettering? What is it that's giving you trouble? So are these fonts you use handmade, downloaded? Uh, no, the font that I use is uh, it's a Joe Matarera font that I used on Battle Chasers. So it's, it's a paid font, but it's the internet. You might find a free way. Um, but other things like sound effects and stuff, I usually write those myself. <laughs> uh, the text editor tools in general and the balloon editing also seem clunky to me. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, I mean, uh, I wouldn't push it. If you're not comfortable, stick with what you like.
this one's done. Let's save it up. Oh, wait, I think it's yeah, it's done. Let's open up our last one. So I'm thinking we can put like everything in shadow except this hand. That way the hand's really forced. Or we do like just, I will say generic, but like everything's shaded normally. All right, let's, let's try this a sloppy way. So if we go this way. Something like that.
you're looking at your Etsy and your Ninja Turtle print, what's the pro version? Okay, I'll answer that, uh, but I just want to know, and the, the reason why I'm asking this is not to make you do the work, <laughs> but I want to uh, make sure that I can make the posts as clear as possible so other people don't have to ask the question you just asked. So what do you think the pro version is, or do you have absolutely no idea? Hey, James, how's it going, buddy? No, okay, so um, could you let me know why you think it's that? Uh, I, I'm not going to make you keep guessing. I, like, what I'm trying to do is see if I can reword stuff or something to make it clear, because there's going to be people that are looking on my store or whatever, and I'm not there to give them a direct answer, and they might walk away, right? But the, the difference is there's, I believe there should be, actually, let me just check it out. Maybe I did something wrong. Usually the pro editions mean that they come with uh, like a custom sketch. So let me just scroll here. Yes, yeah, so if you scroll right here, yeah, see right here. Pro edition includes a bus sketch of any Ninja Turtle character you like. Thanks, James. Thanks, 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 thanks. <laughs> yeah, sure, buddy. Send it over. The Mighty Mustache, an enemy of Jessup King? <laughs> Actually, uh, the Mighty Mustache is the original Jessup King. That's what this story emanated from originally. It's a play off of that. Oh, so it was a scrolling issue? Okay, no problem. Okay, cool. Well, that's fine. Yeah, thanks, man. Thanks for trying to help me out. back is the <laughs> well we'll have to see 
Maybe there are no rivals for Jessup. Maybe he's just that good. All right, well, you know what, guys? I'm, I'm going to have to call it. I'm exhausted. I thought I could go all the way. There's only four panels left, but we'll save it for tomorrow morning. Oh, boy. Well, thank you, guys. All right, thanks for the head. I'll check that out in uh, one on, in a minute or two here. But uh, thank you, everybody. I do appreciate you guys hanging out with me tonight. You guys make it always so enjoyable. Uh, I, for all the new people that popped in today, thanks. Glad you could join us. Um, Sorry, there's no like <laughs> schedule for when these go live. Uh, just if you want, make sure you follow me on uh, or like the channel and follow me anywhere else. Um, and that way, when we go live, you can get a notification and all that cool stuff. Uh, and before I head out, I just want to say again, thank you to all of my Patreons. I posted this at the beginning of the stream, uh, but uh, all of you guys and ladies that are uh, supporting me through Patreon, thank you so much. Every penny counts. Uh, means a lot. Goes a, a long way. More than you'd uh, ever know. Uh, a good example anyway right now <laughs> is that uh, I get to hire James as well to help me do the flats on the project. So more Jessup King stuff comes along. Uh, I will say too that there's going to be uh, more superhero stuff coming. I, I've, I've alluded to that no matter what. Uh, but there's some cool stuff on Patreon if you want to check it out. Might be something there if you got a cup of tea there that you like. Check it out. If not, uh, please. If you wouldn't mind, share it with your friends if you like what I'm doing over here and stuff. I, you know, all the support's cool and all that fun stuff. And if you got no money to spend, hey, that's cool too. We can still be friends. Uh, if you wouldn't mind, uh, maybe just sending a share or uh, posting on Facebook about the channel. All that cool stuff. But uh, anyway, thank you guys so much. I do appreciate your time. Hopefully, I'll be able to talk with you guys tomorrow or whenever I see you next. But until next time, you guys, keep reading comics, keep making comics, and I'll talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.